Hello Taurus, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for July 13th to July 19th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the views, all the likes, the shares, the comments. I really appreciate it so much. It's awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you like the channel because it really helps me out a lot. And leave comments really helps me out a lot too. So I shuffle the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle, uh, the main decks, before I lay them down. And then there's no way this can connect with every single Taurus out there, so don't force it to connect. Hopefully you know your Moon, your Sun, and your Venus, and this is one of those, and you can watch the other two videos. So just take what you can use and leave what you cannot. And you can vice versa the energies of female masculine on the cards because they are just energies on the cards. So feel free if the situation applies, you're like, oh, but it's not a male, it's a female, then that's okay to vice versa those energies. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Almost done. So I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards for you first. I usually pull three of those. So let's get going. The first one we have for you, Taurus, is 17, safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. And this has to do with you and two other people, so it could be a family structure. I feel like your family structure is safe and surrounded, or your love um, structure is what I'm kind of getting, which is good. I don't know, you must have needed to hear that or it wouldn't have came out. So right now, you have support. Whether it's spirit, I feel like it is spirit, and it is family, friends, and friends can become family, you know this. It doesn't have to be blood re relations. So the next one for you is three, in the light of the moon. A full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. And this is the orca, and those are the dolphins. So obviously there's a full moon in here, and we just had a full moon. So, something could have came to light in the full moon that you could be dealing with or you could be finding out in the next couple of days and you maybe didn't realize what came to light on the full moon. But whatever it is, I feel like is going to make you happy because the orca is jumping out of the water and into the water. So, I feel like it has to do with emotions, but it's going to be happy emotions. So, wow, I just noticed putting this card back. Both of these mammals are jumping out of the water and back into the water. So some of you Tauruses probably already understand what that means to your life. I kind of don't know yet. I have to read more cards, but already some of you I'm sure. And it has something to do with emotions and something coming to light and happiness and you feeling safe. So the next one for you is 25 breakthrough to new dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. So this is the albino whale Megaloo and this is Megaloo Jr. They're seen off the coast of Australia and they're considered good luck when they see them is what my book says about these cards. So this is something coming to light that is totally going to make you happy, it is going to change your life, it is going to be abundance, happiness, I mean that is just beautiful, really. I wish I knew what it was, hopefully some of you do already. I don't, oh, now why did, it's like you mess with one and then they all start saying, oh, okay, we're not going to go for this. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you. So you're breaking through, and look at that. They're all going out of the water back into the water. That is just amazing to me. And this one is day. 
this is night with the moon and the stars and this is night with the stars so I do feel like but there it looks like there's day moving into the night wow that is really powerful and do you see the eye of Migaloo on there is visible so that means something too I feel like all right, so two of fire is you making a decision. You are thinking about something that you're going to make a decision about, Taurus. When you turn around from this door thinking, you're going to have a decision already made. You're thinking about it right now. So six of fire is a couple things. This could be somebody who is selfish, who takes from other people, or this could be somebody who is very good at a job and people respect this person at the job. So Empress, so some of you have an Empress or you are the Empress, feel free to vice versa the masculine feminine energies where they apply to you. So this, the Empress could be a new beginning, a new business, a new job, a new love, a new home, new beginnings of any kind to Empress. The Empress as a person is somebody who holds themselves to really high standards, um, who is very nurturing and kind but won't spread herself thin and won't give her kindness or nurturing to people who don't respect it. Six of C is a lot of people crying. So you and people around you are crying for some reason, Taurus. So Ace of Earth is love and abundance. This is love coming towards you, abundance of love. It's going to make you strong as a tree. I mean, a strong love. Something is coming towards you to make you strong. So Earth Tom is a helper. Something coming in to help you over a difficult time or a hard time in your life right now. The cat. The cat is my leaping into love. This is a precursor for love coming into your life and you taking that leap of faith towards love. You're going on about your business and you least expect it. So the emperor. Look at this. This is beautiful and how it came out is even more beautiful because she's facing him. So this is could be a power couple. This could represent Aries, but don't. Um, it doesn't matter. So the emperor could be a boss, somebody who has self-employment, who's very good at his job, his skill. He runs his household with authority. This is a nurturing female. He must make her feel secure and happy because she's facing him. And she's also nurturing the family as well, but she's also enjoying nice, beautiful things. Like he has made a beautiful home for her and has made her feel secure. This is nice, Taurus. So, well, now that I'm looking at it, she came out and then there were tears. And then love and abundant strength of a tree could be family structure, somebody coming in to help, love, and then the emperor. So this is Fire Kitten. This is somebody who takes chances, who plays with fire, who who could say or do something they regret. So then you have Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth is somebody who's good at a skill. It could be a coping skill, it could be a job skill, a life skill. Somebody who has a skill that they teach to other people. So Nine of Earth is you looking into your future, knowing how you want your future to be and what you want and don't want in your future. You're being very precise. So Demon Cat could represent a Capricorn in your placement of your natal chart or around you. This is an upright red triangle behind the cat. It's usually anger, toxic energy. So should I switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck? I think I will. I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck now for you, Taurus. So you have Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins is an inheritance, birthright, something being passed down from family. Ace of Wands. This is an opportunity. Sorry about that. I'm not, I always try to make sure my phone is off. 
Um, Ace of Wands is an opportunity. It could be love, it could be a job, but I feel like it is um, love because of the passion. The world, look at that. So, something is coming in with love and it's going to change your world. Totally. Taurus, that's that's powerful. So Eight of Wands is you walking away from something. This could be a relationship. This could be a pattern. This could be a thought process. Something that's not good for you, you're moving away from. So it's an action card in the sense that you're walking away. And it's something that you're passionate about because of the red. So then you have the Emperor. So you have the Emperor twice. You came up twice, Taurus. This could represent Aries, but it doesn't have to. So I feel like somebody could be testing you around you, Taurus, to see how alert you are or aware you are. Hmm. Five of Swords is lying, angry. It could be a third party in a relationship. This is somebody um, lying, basically, is what that is. So the Magician is a couple things. This could be you saying you have everything in your life to manifest the life you want, or this could represent somebody tricking you, trickery, where they are playing with your mind to where you're unsure of what they are telling you. Wheel of Fortune. So you have the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. This is powerful. So to me this says that no, that card is not trickery, but you feel free to put it how it works for you. But the two together, the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, look at this. You have these three right here, Taurus. Something is changing. So you have the world, you have the magician, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is really powerful. Something in your life is changing. I feel like your vibration is changing. Your income is changing. Your household is changing a lot of things are changing for you in the positive we come back to the love and abundance a lot of things powerful change i'm almost wondering if some of you went through like a really powerful energy shift during the full moon and the eclipse like a kundalini shift or something like that you can go google that if you don't understand what that is so Six of Swords would be, again, you moving away from lying, people trying to not be truthful with you, a pattern or behavior that's not good for your life, for your future. So if you are coming into abundance or changing your life really drastically, a lot of people don't like that when people leave their life or change it. A lot of people like things to stay the same. So I'm getting that a lot of people are not going to be happy the change you're going to make. But that is not their change to make. They have to deal with their own emotions. It's not of your concern. Three of Wands is opportunities around you. Again, this could be opportunity for job, life um, opportunities. This star, this could represent Aquarius in your birth chart or around you, Taurus, but this is a lifetime of love being offered to somebody. Eight of Coins would be somebody planning and organizing. Somebody is planning their future because it's going the direction they want it to go and they're making plans. Temperance. Temperance to me... When there's wings and the water connected, that could mean possible past life connection energies. Um, so temperance is waiting where the universe is pushing something together. It's divine, fated, if you will. Nine of coins is you planning and organizing and saving. I feel like you're saving something. So Five of Wands is gossip, people talking about you, Taurus. A lot of people, they're all the same gender, they're, you know, it's, it's 
yeah, a lot of people talking. So I think I'm going to move to the E cards now. So the Oracle of E, first one for you, Taurus, is entangled number 13. So entangled means you've been entangled with something. This could be a third party, this could be a job you didn't like, a car arrangement you didn't like. Something you're entangled with has come full circle and it's not going to be a problem anymore. I got your back is the universe saying that they have you. So there's dark down here and light up here. I feel like the universe is trying to hold you up high to say they're supporting you, whatever you're going through right now. Talking smack. Somebody's talking smack about you, Taurus, and you're going to the sun. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. You know the truth. I think that happens to everybody in their life to see how we can handle it, to see where dignity level is. So 31 is superhero. Somebody feels like you're a superhero, that you are handling that talking smack really well, or you're just handling something very well. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere, 38. This to me has to do with the universe. It has to do with children. Something to do with things going the way they're supposed to and children are involved. So maybe you're a superhero to children, Taurus, to your children. So 44 is a double number. I suggest a lot of people take notes and write numbers down and you could teach yourself about numbers by googling them after the readings and seeing the vibrations and stuff. So 44 is a double number. Time to fly as the universe has you. This is dark. You're going more into the light, more on your own path, more self-fulfillment and the universe totally supports you, Taurus. Very good. So now I'm going to go to the Soul's Journey Lesson card. And you have growth. I want to expand my con consciousness and my awareness. And this is sunshine, sacral, or solar plexus chakra. So I feel like you are growing in some area, whatever this is here, you're growing from it. You are growing, I mean, I'm talking expanding positively, expanding consciously I mean I I really am getting some kind of spiritual growth and energy shift here with you Taurus forgiveness I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love purple is healing orange is your um it's right in my brain it's right in my brain I can't think of what it is it's one of your chakras though um, gosh, I hate that when I do that. So, forgiveness, I feel like you might have had to forgive somebody to move into your growth period. And kudos to you for doing that if that's what you did. Because some people hang on to stuff for a long time and it doesn't do you any good. Balance it out. Let go of it. No reason to hang on to negative energy. So now I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards for you. And you have, no, or traveling, number 10. So this always means to me that you could be getting downloaded while you're sleeping. You could be connecting with loved ones who have crossed over. You could be traveling to places you've lived before. You could be traveling through the universe. You could be traveling through the dimension between here and heaven. Um, or you could be traveling here on earth, going to another state, another country, another city. Just traveling. That's beautiful. And the next one for you is 15 Enchantment. This is my Virgo representation in the card, Taurus. Um, she looks in that lantern and she gets clarity. So you're going to get clarity on something. You really, really are. Traveling and clarity. Beautiful. So now I'm going to pull the Angel and Ancestor. And you have Stag, Trust and Thrive. So stake has to do with the antlers are protected by the universe, which you had that safe and surrounded up here. You are safe and surrounded. You need to trust right now and you need to move forward thriving in what your goals and dreams are because you're being supported and it seems like a door is open right now. The energy is correct for you to move forward 
to what you want and that is totally protection that could be new starts, new beginnings, new loves, marriage, a lot of things. Alright, so the next one for you, Taurus, is Traveler. Move in a new direction. So this says basically what it is. That you have your own path, you have your own direction, and you are proud of it. You are the way you are, and you're very accepting of people who don't understand it, and you're fine with that. You try to be around people that you are like you, and when you travel, you seem to be attracted to people, and people seem to be attracted to you, who are genuinely interested in you and your travels. You're a very interesting person, Taurus. You have a lot to talk about. And I just feel like you have an intuition. There's, there's trust in both those cards right there and intuition. I'm getting intuition all over this reading. Like I said, I really, I need to get cards for energy is what I need to do because then I can pick up the different energies that I pick it up. But I'm really almost getting kundalini energy here, Taurus. I really am. That some of you shifted into a much stronger um, vibration. Over the full moon, the eclipse, something like that. I'm not really sure. So now I'm going to uh, pull your fortune cookie. And your fortune cookie is... A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, thank you so much for coming to my channel, Echo Catcher Tarot Taurus. I appreciate it so much and bless you, Taurus.